One of the lessons we get from Surah Al-Ghashiyah is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tries to convince us and persuade us to believe through our experience of life on earth. And this is remarkable to me because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't just say, you know, believe because I said so, right? That would be circular logic. It would be circular reasoning. In reality, he admits implicitly, not explicitly, but implicitly that we need to be convinced. And he honors us as human beings with the project of trying to persuade us. And he points to what we know, right? He points to the earth. He points to the sky. He points to the rain. He points to the mountains and all these sorts of things. And he draws our attention to these things and tries to get us to think and tries to get us to reflect. And the point of getting us to think and to reflect is to get us to submit, right? Everything is always geared towards submission. And there's a couple intermediary steps there. It often goes through indebtedness and gratitude. And once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala convinces us of the need to be grateful and the need to be, you know, we feel indebted, we want to express our gratitude. Then we start to seek. Then we start to search. Who, who do I be grateful to? How do I express my gratitude? What's the right way? That makes us ripe for submission. That makes us ready to submit, right? And that's not to say, again, you know, some people get this wrong and they think, well, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recognizes the role of reason and logic and these sorts of things, then that means that it's an open open season, that it's a license to use those tools without any limits. Well, that's also not true. Because as Ali said, if the deen were according to the religion, then we would wipe over the bottom of our khuf and not the tops. Right? When it comes to the granular detail of the sharia, of the, the things that are expected of you from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that takes revelation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expects us to follow it. Sami'na wa ata'na, we say. But if a person hasn't submitted, they're not ready for that. So we look at the role of reason in Islam, and the, the role of reason is to get us to the point of submission. Allah's persuading, persuading, persuading. He's providing evidence. He's bringing logical arguments. He's doing thought experiments. He's uh, all these sorts of techniques that he uses in the Quran. If there were more than one God, then you would have seen create, you know, chaos in the creation, all these sorts of things. Did you create yourselves or did you come out of nowhere? There's many, many strategies and tactics that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses. But it's all leading up to one point, and that's submission. And once we submit, you're expected to follow the rest.